Hi, welcome back to the fourth week, Monday's edition of the New Day One Show. Our little five minute uh, combination of an inspirational message and a snippet of one of my songs. I'm really excited about today's message and song because um, I, I believe it has the potential of uh, really helping each one of us um, restore our connection to Source and God as well as to uh, change the world. Um, so I went to a conference this weekend <clears throat> with Mabel Katz. She's one of the uh, world's greatest teachers of Ho'oponopono, trained by uh, Dr. Ikea um, and uh, herself and uh, Morna. And uh, she talks about Ho'oponopono in her teachings and goes into in-depth ways we can use this powerful cleaning tool to not only transform ourselves to heal our emotional problems, uh, clear up our minds so that inspiration can return. Um, and that, again, Ho'oponopono is just saying to your child, to yourself, to your spirit, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for whatever inside of me has attracted this problem or created this situation out in the world or, or brought this circumstance to my life. It's unpleasant. And uh, I love you. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for uh, helping us clean this up. And as you do Ho'opono all throughout the day, you actually teach your spirit and child to do it, even when you're not consciously doing it, like when you're sleeping. So what she basically talks about is that uh, originally we were, we were uh, connected to God. We were a manifestation of God. We are his sons and daughters. Um, and we had this, this direct connection. And as children, most of them still have that connection. In other words, they're continually looking for the next thing Spirit's going to lead them to do, and that inspiration flows all throughout the day. As we get older, our mind, the mother, begins to oppress the child and begins to put burdens on the child, problems and things to solve. I wish this was different. Look at all the pollution in the world. And, and truly, there are problems in the world. But I believe the problem is with you, and me, and not just those bad people out there that are doing sex trading or uh, being crooked in politics or whatever the problem is. Um, so with Ho'oponopono, what we do is we basically give mother a rest and we acknowledge the importance of our child's connection to God. And so we clean, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. And as we do that, we begin to restore the prayers from the spirit, the child, up to God and be able to hear and receive the energy, the energies and the answers uh, from God. So it's a very powerful cleaning tool. I definitely wanted to touch on it again because um, there's just so much uh, that we need to be doing right now to heal the world. Uh, I had an awakening uh, about 20 years ago and through meditation, learning silence, uh, it sort of kind of cleared out the mother and I was able to get direct connection and, and inspiration and revelation even from, from the Holy Spirit. And during that time, I realized that we are just upside down in the world uh, and probably always have been as uh, societies and cultures. And there's probably a few exceptions to that uh, in some of the ind indigenous peoples that are still alive today. Uh, they're very much one with the earth. They very much respect the life around them. They very much believe in keeping the unity of the tribe and the neighbors and the family. Um, and so as I had this awakening and, and I realized I am creating my own world with everything I believe, do, and say, and um, that whatever I'm putting out into the world, that actually has an energetic effect upon everyone and everything else. So when this insight comes to you and you realize the world is upside down, that we're here in America, especially all we think about is material gain and so much to the point where our huge houses and fancy cars and electronics is literally just destroying the earth because we're sucking out all those precious metals and knocking down trees. Now they're burning trees for uh, energy. Um, um, so uh, what can I do about the world? And it's a horrible situation and it's dire future because uh, anybody that really looks at what we're doing to the earth we we know we're not loving her we know we're not treating her kind we're polluting her oceans we're destroying our atmosphere and we can't go on much longer i believe that's why we're in the situation we're in so i encourage you to possibly practice whole ponopono throughout your day and anytime a problem comes up just say hey, i'm really sorry please forgive me for whatever inside of me has caused this to, to manifest and um 
And as you begin to practice that, hopefully, you will begin to sense the inspiration that will return to you because your connection gets clean. You know, God did say, be ye holy, for I am holy. And I also know we cannot have a connection with a very holy God unless we've gotten our heart clean. And that's where the fellowship occurs. Okay, the song I'm going to do is a really beautiful one. It's called The Time Has Come. I believe it's actually prophetic for the times that we're in right now. Thank you again for joining, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.